Hi guys, this is John from PSD Dude and in today's tutorial I will show you how to make this awesome glitter effect in Photoshop using glitter brushes and patterns. So let's begin. The image I'm working on today is this beautiful portrait of a girl and I will use a couple of brushes and patterns to create an amazing glitter effect in Photoshop. In the description of this video you will find the free download links to the glitter brushes and the glitter patterns you will need to make this effect, so go ahead and download them before starting. If you don't know how to install brushes and patterns in Photoshop, here's how you do it. Go to Edit, Preset Manager and with the preset type set to brushes click load and choose the ABR brush file. I already have the glitter brushes installed in my Photoshop. As for the glitter patterns, they are loaded in the same way. Select patterns as the preset type, then load and select the PAT Photoshop pattern file. And as you see here I already did, so I have all the glitter patterns installed. Good, now for the glitter effect I will start by creating a new pattern adjustment layer and I will select one of the glitter patterns installed earlier. Let's choose the gold glitter pattern. As you see this fills the entire screen with the glitter pattern, so let's select the mask for this layer and invert it by pressing Ctrl and I or Command I on a Mac. This will hide the pattern. To make the glitter effect I will have to reveal the glitter pattern by painting on the layer mask. To paint I will use one of the glitter brushes that I installed earlier. Just remember this, when painting on a layer mask white reveals and black hides. So. Let's first select white and then start drawing over the areas where we want the glitter effect to appear. Don't worry about covering the eyes of the girl, I'm working in the layer mask of the glitter pattern so I'll be able to remove the glitter effect where I don't want it. I can adjust the glitter brush setting a bit, so let's lower the value for the brush scattering. Alright, so obviously I now have too much glitter and the effect doesn't look too realistic. Let me hide parts of the glitter effect by painting in the layer mask using black. Then I'm quickly going over the areas I want to hide. And also for the other eye, and a little bit here, well you get the idea. To further enhance the glitter effect I will add the Photoshop layer style to the glitter pattern. I'll double click on the layer and add drop shadow with these settings. After a bit of tinkering, this is what I got. I can make the glitter more or less intense by adding a levels adjustment layer, which I set as a clipping mask. Modifying the level settings makes the glitter brighter or darker. I think this looks pretty good. Now, for the lips of our model, I did something similar, but this time I used one of the red glitter patterns from the pack. I also added a levels adjustment layer with the clipping mask, so I can now make the glitter on the lips more or less intense. Good! Now our glitter effect is almost complete. I will now add a couple of finishing touches just to make it a bit more realistic. First I will create a new layer by pressing Ctrl N or Command N on Mac and let's name it Glow. Then using one of the glitter brushes and selecting white as a color, let me just make the brush a bit smaller, I will place a couple of highlight glitter speckles here and there. Then I will enhance these highlight points by using a glow layer style. This layer style is made very easily by setting the color overlay to white using the blend mode normal with 100% opacity. Because this is the glow layer for the lips, I'm using a red color for the inner and outer glow. I actually made a couple of layers for the glow to try and create a more realistic glitter effect. Here's how the glitter glow layer for the eyes looks with and without the layer style. The settings for these layer styles are similar to the glitter glow on the lips, but for this one I used a golden yellow color for the inner and outer glow. 
You can try various effects using the sparkle brushes from the glitter brush pack. To make it look more like a glitter makeup effect, I added a blank layer over the original image and set the blending mode to overlay. I select a soft round brush of around 30 pixels and then choose a light yellow color. Now you can paint some golden makeup around the eyes to enhance the glitter effect. To make the effect even more realistic, I will first group all the layers made so far by selecting them and then dragging them over the group icon. Then I'll add the mask to the group, hide the layer and with the mask selected go to image, apply image and press OK. This creates a mask from the image highlights. Let me turn the layer visibility back on. As you see the glitter effect is much more realistically blended, but it's a bit too faded. So with the mask selected I will go to image, adjustments, levels and I can drag the sliders around until the glitter effect becomes more visible again. As you can see I can adjust both the highlights and the shadows of the mask. I think this is about perfect. Here's how the glitter effect looks with and without the layer mask. And here's the portrait before and after we apply the glitter effect in Photoshop.